Gamer Nation. Borderlands, released in 2009, was one of the most original, fresh and exciting games I had ever played. A fast-paced FPS blended with the depth of a Diablo-style RPG, the original Borderlands was a flawed classic that holds a place very dear in my heart. So now that Borderlands 2 has just been released, does it improve upon the original? Yes. Yes it does, and in every way too. Here's how. There's a phrase I use a lot when I'm reviewing games, and that's if it ain't broth, don't fix it, and this rings especially true with Borderlands 2. Everything that fans loved about the original is bath and refined to perfection, whereas everything that fans disagreed with in the original game has either been scrapped or improved on immensely. Arguably the best part of the original game was its bazillions of procedurally generated weapons, so Borderlands 2 doubles that number and adds cool new types and effects. Every weapon is different, and shifting through piles of shotguns that shoot fire and explode when they reload is tremendous fun. Just like with the original, the joy of Borderlands is finding that gun that's unique to you. The shooting mechanics are still spot on and there are a plethora of new and exciting enemies for you to slaughter. Each one is as varied and surprisingly enough as memorable as the last, making levelling up as fun as it was in the original. The four class variations also return with more fleshed out special abilities and three still trees to play around with this time. Each tree relates to a specific playstyle and points can be reassigned at any point during the game. With so much character customization and so much variation between each of the four classes, multiple playthroughs are a must. Oh, also, the level of customization in this game is insane. There's so much loot and so much to customize. You've got shields, grenade mods, class mods, each one adding different points to different stats relating to different playstyles. There's just so much depth in this game. This is an RPG in every sense of the word, and fans of either Final Fantasy or any other RPG out there are just going to love the depth in this game. Borderlands 2 also introduces the Badass Rant, a global set of challenges which allows you to pump points into stills that affect all of your characters on every playthrough, not just the one that you're specifically doing at the time. Oh also the Badass Rant is infinite, so you know, technically you can do that forever. As I said earlier, this is a game designed for multiple playthroughs. But of course, the main reason that many of you will be buying Borderlands 2 is for its incredible 4 player co-op mode. Loot is distributed equally, the game adapts fluently to any number of players of any level. This is just the ultimate co-op game, either both split screen or online, you're going to have so much fun with friends. But that's not to say this isn't a good game in single player as well. I personally enjoyed it just as much in single player as I did in co-op, which is quite an achievement on behalf of Theobots. But of course, that's not to say that Borderlands 2 isn't without its flaws. It has some horrendous texture pop in when you enter new areas, which is a, a fault with Unreal Engine 3, as we've seen in other games. Also the driving sections return and they're just as naff. I mean seriously you have to control it with the right stick, like the Halo Warthog. It's not accurate and it's frustrating as hell. Also the missions do sort of become tedious once again around the midpoint, but luckily the game is funny enough to keep you doing and that brings us on very nicely to our next section. Presentation wise, Borderlands 2 is gorgeous. Its cartoon style is fully realised in the sequel and it makes Borderlands 2 one of the most vibrant and uniquely presented games I've ever seen. Everything from its enemies to even its guns are executed beautifully. Its soundtrack is also incredible, once again blending western melodies with techno beats. Honestly, Jesper Tide, I really wish you were still working on Hitman Absolution because you were one of the best composers out there today. However, the best part of Borderlands 2's presentation is its writing and more specifically its humour, because Borderlands 2 is hilarious and this is all down to its cast of lovably insane characters. This is literally a game that had me crying with laughter at some points, something a game has never achieved in a long time. This game will literally keep you laughing from start to finish. Its story in general is also pretty good. It involves the Vault Hunters from the original game, has a great new villain, and just generally makes the necessary improvements. Still, it's not great, but it does make for a more cohesive experience. Overall, Borderlands 2 is the Empire Strikes Bath of Gaming. Bitter, better, and more refined in every way, Borderlands 2 is great fun in either single player or co-op. It looks great, it plays great, and it'll keep you laughing from start to finish. 
Therefore, I can divot my recommendation is just buy it now. This is a dame that is worth every single penny of the asking price. Thanks for watching. For more news, reviews and previews, you can head on over to gamination.co.uk and for more gaming related video content, feel free to subscribe to this channel, UK Gamination. Thanks again for watching. We'll be back very soon.